So one one of Lowe's lows, either temporary lows or ones that you could say that should be the low for a while. Well, let me find it. We had do 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 do. Where the hell is it? There we go. You never know when the lows are lows. You just don't. You just don't. And then we had a couple of things happen. We had, well, let me back it up. An iceberg appear at 25 even. And what was it? Yeah, 25 even. He did 465. And he's showing 100, which is pretty decent. Now, we had been breaking all morning after the open. That in and of itself doesn't mean the low is in. That's just one of a couple things. The other thing is, for the most part on the way down, we had more shorts opened up looking for, you know, lows and lower prices to continue. And they just had this strip right in here. So you combine this big order that we see because he's showing 100 is probably has a lot more than 465. And then shorts getting stuck. It's the probability. And then a decent amount of longs puking in here. It's the probability that this market has some lows that are at least temporarily set in or put in. And then as we, I wonder if we had those 35s, that moment, this struggle. This was a, a really real-time fight between longs and shorts that came in. And you could see it using it as resistance, 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 until once it got through it, bam, it popped. Stayed above it for a while. But it was a... Uh, It was not an easy fight, but it did highlight what was important, what prices were important. So to summarize the highlight, what could happen for lows to be lows, and then what highlights as a real-time price that's, that's important to not stay short above it. That's what's key, is if you're, if you're playing this area that you identify as important, and you're, and you're short below it, maybe you're using it as resistance as the market goes up there, comes off, that's fine. You just don't want to stay short and be a victim of price going to 45, 46, which it did. Real-time highlights of what prices are important. Also, another thing that's, that's important when you, when you think about trading in a, in a general sense, when people come into the day and they look back on, the previous session or the overnight and they highlight important prices. Just remember a lot of people could see those. A lot of people understand what happened overnight, what prices might've been a battle from Friday, from the overnight session. But once the game starts and, and we, we get into the regular trading session, what are the prices that are highlighted right now that become important? There are less people that will be on the team and compete with you long and short because they don't recognize those real important prices. They tend to get stuck, which becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy of them working. 